Hi and welcome everyone. So unfortunately, the Bad Moon, I did choose the right name to post on YouTube. Yes, Bad Moon Rising. Well, the moon was there all night um, under the clouds. So I stared at it through the clouds and waited for it to appear. I brought the four inch telescope out set up, which was for absolutely nothing. I never got it going once. The, you know, these things can happen. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? But this morning when I woke up, just before I started uh, finishing this, saving this and getting it prepared to post, um, I had a core meltdown warning. My fan, this, I don't know what went on, guys. My fan went faster than a helicopter, okay? The fan in my computer started drastically, ragingly spinning excessively so much that I could hear the whole frame of my computer shaking. I could see a bunch of pages coming up. I got a bunch of emails from people. Because you see, I don't just get one or two emails. I get about two or 300 emails every single day now, basically. And uh, I'm rooting through uh, a lot of the files. Most of them are viruses. Some people send me photos to post that are of NASA. Some people send me photos, they say they're theirs. It's not theirs, it's NASA's. But I also get some amazing people that do connect with me and that do send me their personal photos. It's not photos they want me to post. They want them to uh, remain theirs and they take the time to trust me and show me their personal work. I love you guys for it and thanks a lot for it. Look at the lights that we're looking at down here on the service. So I was hacked, guys, make a long story short. Some mother tried to come and hack my computer, but I turned it down. You can't get any information out of my computer. It's empty. It's empty. All I have is a nice face of me sitting on a chair with a file and a message for a hacker. So if anyone gets into my computer, they're going to get a good laugh out of, uh, out of it. In the process, so beautiful surface filled with twinkling lights that are, there's a problem. Why are these lights twinkling at different rates? And why are these lights flickering at different times. You'll see one on the right flicker in the east and the east and then you'll see some in the north flickering. The moon has these light sources on it. Something's going on down there and you have to you can't help but wonder what the heck is going on and who is up there, you know? What are they producing? Um is it a species? Is it humans? You know, I tend to think that it could be humans that maybe we've been up there working for a hell of a long time. But are we working for this system or another system? Are there two systems? Are there other rulers? Are there other worlds and galaxies? These are things that run through my mind all the time. But I'm, how can I say? I sort of just know all these worlds exist and that it's always been and I move on and I accept. Maybe I'm wrong and if I'm wrong, well, so be it. And if I'm proven wrong, well, good, we will research what is going on up there instead of trying to show people that there are structures up there well there's color too so that you can see here and for the first time with the this with the p900 trying to get color out not easy wow not easy at all to get color out of that uh p900 it's a beautiful beautiful camera beautiful image but like i said guys each camera is different my hs50 exr has amazing surface color that I was able to bring out. So did the next image five, actually. You know, the next image five in a telescope, I, I can bring out a lot of color in the photos of the surface of the moon. So, guys, we have a 21 megapixel camera right now. A DSLR is going to the back of that mother. 14-inch <laughs> telescope. So this is going to be pretty amazing. It will be amazing. Today's Sunday. I have a couple of errands to run, and I'll be running them pretty early to get back and try to get back on that sun. But again, this morning, guys, this is week number three. Clouds. I've never seen so many clouds. I can't see the sky. The sun woke up this morning, and I was able to, to greet him or her for about two minutes, and that was it. Took off behind the clouds and behind the chemtrails. Because everyone knows now that they're spraying chemtrails in line directly over the sun, where the sun rises, where the sun descends. They have a straight path. Sometimes they spray in X's. Sometimes they spray in formation. What the hell's going on? 
Why are they doing that? You can't help but wonder with all the breathing problems here on earth, all the people having problems, you know, uh, in the air, you have uh, some people uh, have autism. Some people are born with autism. Some people are born with uh, uh, problems uh, like in their blood systems, etc. What is dirtying us? What is this destroying us? What is massacring our DNA. Why is that happening? You know, we don't know enough about what's going on up there in the sky. They're spraying, whether they be to, whether it be to defend us or not. You really start wondering at, at one point when they're spraying crap over your head and not telling you. It's never good. If they're not telling us, they're hiding something. They're hiding something. As always, these amazing people will be up at the end of each and every video that will be produced on Bruce Sees All. These are the website contributors. Uh, the channel contributors, um, these are the new contributors. The family's always growing. Guys, I love you for it. Thanks so very much for the support. Thanks for the interest. Thanks for interacting with me, guys. I appreciate it so very much. Kevin McLeod is where I get all my music from, and he's the music artist. He has a website at incompetech.com. If you guys want to use some music in your own or buy some music, you can go see Kevin's website. WSO YouTube channel, Steve Olson and I interact on Tuesday nights. Check out his channel. People are trying to silence me, guys, so be vigilant. BruceSeasall.com if ever it hits.